Hey there you, welcome to the fourth step of the create reports and dashboards for sales managers and marketing managers project. This step is about grouping and categorizing your data. One of the things that makes the report builder super easy to use is the ability to easily drag groupings to move them between rows and columns in reports. We use matrix style report to display summaries from two or more levels of groupings in a grid. This allows you to display more data in a smaller space and to make quick comparisons across groups. Group data in a report. Let's get back to our VP of sales. Who would like the opportunities by rep report to show opportunities additionally grouped by close date and displayed in a table? No problem, we will modify the opportunities by rep report to group by the calendar month of the close date. Click reports tab, click all folders, click global sales reports. Global says reports next to opportunities by rep. Click edit. In the PV pane, click the arrow next to close date and select group columns by this field. Click the arrow in the close date, summary row, hover over the group date by and select calendar months. At the bottom of the preview pane, slide the toggle next to detail rows and stack summaries to deselect them. I'm not really sure where that is, let's see. At the bottom of the preview pane, slide the toggle next to detail rows and stacked summaries. Oh, that's what they mean, okay. Stacked summaries, some arrow, <laughs> and the detail rows. Just reload this and see if that will resolve something. Probably have to do everything again. So let's do everything again. I'm gonna pause this real quick. Okay, so I tried it again, got the same error, and then I firstly disabled uh, the automatic preview, then I disabled details, and then the stacked summaries at last, and that's worked. So let's continue here. Click the arrow next to save, and click save as, and complete the save report details. Opportunities by rep and close months. 
Again, the unique name is not important. And now we paste this here. What opportunities do your sales rep have in the pipeline and when do they close? Ensure this report is being saved in the global sales report folder. Click save and then run. So let's see this in action, but I think there is no data in there, so we would have to change the filter to all time and then it would work. All right, use bucket fields, opportunities by wrap and close month report. Matrix reports are a useful way to view data, but if you need to organize your groupings by categories, that's where bucket reporting comes in. But bucketing lets you segment your reporting data on the fly by defining a set of categories or buckets to sort, group or filter the records. Let's check out how bucketing works and fulfill one of your VP of sales reporting needs. We'll create a matrix report again, but this time show opportunities by owner, stage and size in the pipeline this fiscal quarter. Create a new opportunity report. New report, opportunities. And then we select continue. Click the filters pane. Ensure the close date is set to current financial quarter. Click opportunity status, select open and then click apply. Click the outline pane, click X next to the following column headers to remove them. Owner role, fiscal period, age, create date, lead source type. Add a bucket field to categorize the opportunities as small, medium or large. In the outline pane, click the arrow next to columns and click add bucket. Add the bucket column is there. Remove current selection within the field box then search for and select amount. Bucket name and your size. Complete the first range as follow. Name small. Fifty thousand to a hundred thousand is medium. And for the third range, over a hundred thousand, enter a large. Ensure treat empty amount values in the reports as zeros as selected. Yes, it is. Click 
apply. Let's see if this works. Okay. That was a problem. Group the report by stage and opportunity owner and by size. In the preview pane, click the arrow next to the opportunity owner. Let's enable the preview again. Opportunity owner, group rows by this field. Click the arrow next to size, select group columns by this field. At the bottom of the PV pane, I slide the toggle next to detail rows, subtotals and grand totals and deselect them. Detail rows. Current total and where's the subtotal? I only see raw counts. So let's just uh, save this. And see if I get an error or if I get away with it like the last time. Save and run. Pipeline matrix report. Let's save this and let's verify the step. Alright, so we got the 100 points. If you want to see the next video, you can find the playlist in the description. If you have any feedback for me, you can type it in the comment field below. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you don't have any further time for watching the next step, I wish you a great day and shukriya to my Indian viewers as well.